Hey Virgo, it's Goddess Puff and this is your reading. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Virgo. What is going on with my Virgo's spirit? What does Virgo need to know at this very moment in time for Virgo? All righty, let's see. Okay, we have Haunted 21. So voices in your head, things that are haunting you from the past. Candle magic, nine. So you definitely should be doing some candle magic. Very soon, um, tonight is a full, I mean, tonight is a new moon. Greet the darkness, yes, welcome it right in. And I'm getting like, greet the darkness as the new moon. All right, third harvest, ooh. So you should do some candle magic to call something in. So by the next full moon, you will harvest whatever it is that you're doing candle magic for now so if you do candle magic for this new moon you will uh call in by the full moon it will already come to fruition yeah third harvest 38 feel free to break down the numbers that i call out because i feel like with haunted there's something here let me see what this says i'll just read it the breaking of the floor beneath your naked feet the creaking of the walls as the cold kisses flesh. You're never really alone when the company of hauntings within your bones. It's like a poem on each card. Okay, so I feel like you may feel alone or abandoned or like the words of others, especially the harsh words are left with you. You feel alone like the harsh words of others are just ringing in your ears or replaying around you. You feel like no one's here to help you or people are out to get you regardless. Um, I feel like there's an emptiness. Do some candle magic and it says greet the darkness. So come into that emptiness, fill that void with yourself, allow it to engulf you and do that candle magic. And like, I guess moon bathing as well, if you're into that moon bathing. But just welcome in the new moon, welcome in the void because it's about to be filled. It is about to be filled. Definitely candle magic. All right, so let's get into the tarot for Virgo. Message for my Virgos. What does Virgo need to know at this very moment and time for Virgo? All right, let's see. All right, we have the Page of Wands. Yeah, see, greatness coming in. New energy filling you up already. Creative energy with that Page of Wands. Yeah, what's haunting you? Ten of Pentacles. What? <laughs> what? I was not expecting. Okay, so yeah. So wealth, you could be, um, for some of you, not all of you, could be a fire sign child here or a younger fire sign family member. But I'm getting an idea coming in. Definitely get a red candle for wealth. I don't know how... And of course, wealth is like gold or silver, but it's like a red candle. I'm seeing a red candle. With the Ten of Pentacles, I'm getting family, work, generations, Three of Cups, celebration. So you're going to be celebrating an inheritance brought on by some creative energy or an idea. Yeah, temperance, Sagittarius. So there's definitely Sagittarius involved or in someone's chart. They're telling you to stay calm. There is going to be a reunion, a reconciliation. For some of you, I hear, I see a pregnancy. Someone is also with temperance and page of wands. Someone's tempting you, like trying to have sex with you, basically. It will lead to a pregnancy. So I, if that's not what you want, don't do it. But someone's really trying to tempt you. And I see a negative outcome. If you do um, reunite with this person or sleep with this person with that temptation, I feel like it's telling you it's best for you to be alone or do something alone because there's someone who's really trying to tempt you to come back to them. And it says, greet the darkness. So don't do it. I don't know why you feel the need to get 10 candles. Every All the candles represent um, the 10 of Pentacles. And I see a coin underneath every candle like a, a quarter under every candle. So 10 quarters, 10 candles. I don't know what that means. It's It'll make sense to someone. I also got camcorder. But anyway, overall energy is the devil. Everything is symbolic. 
This is Capricorn energy. So yeah, fears, addictions, enslavements, the fear of being alone, the temptation with temperance. It's like it's either choosing between a toxic relationship or being alone or toxic friends because it doesn't have to be love. It could be family, friend, work, career, put it where it goes for you. But it's like a choice between being alone in a toxic situation and it's best for you to be alone because I feel like you're about to draw in. If you choose to be alone, you will draw in the Ten of Pentacles. But I feel like there's a void here and you want to fill it. And here comes the devil tempting you when you're at your weakest. Don't fall for it. Because if you decide to uh, fight against it and focus on the Ten of Pentacles, creating inheritance and generational wealth and stability for you and your family for generations or working on that, you will reap the rewards with the third harvest. That's coming. And these people cannot come with you. With the Three of Cups, you're going to be celebrating. Clarify this message for Virgo. So it's a it's lonely at the top type of energy. Clarify this message for Virgo. Clarify this message for Virgo. I gotta write this title down real quick. Let me cut the deck. I gotta write this title down real quick before I forget. Ten candles, ten coins. Cause I'm literally seeing, it doesn't, you don't have to get 10 candles, of course not. But I'm seeing like all these candles right here. I don't even know if this is 10, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this is 12 candles. So I'm all wrong. You could get just three or even one and put a coin underneath it. And that, that could be like some type of magic work. I'm seeing someone with a red candle, bright red, shiny candle with a coin right underneath it, like a pillar candle, and you melt it all the way down till all the wax is melted over the coin, and it's like a money spell or magic. I've never heard of it, but I'm seeing someone do it. That's all you need to do to bring generational wealth to yourself to get that Ten of Pentacles. Well, let's clarify. Clarifying the Page of Wands is the strength card, Leo. So yeah, so someone's going to text you or call you or message you or someone's going to try to tempt you to have sex with them to take your energy, to take your creative energy. You're going to have to gather all your strength not to fall for it. It is very tempting, but the, this is the devil fucking with you. And it's not, it's like someone's toxic trying to fuck with you. And when you're at your lowest, it says, again, greet the darkness. Stay alone if you got to. Do not go for it. Yeah, judgment. You have the final say. You have the final judgment. Have the strength to move forward because I see that you have an amazing idea. Amazing energy is coming with that page of wands. You are bringing in that fiery, hard working energy. You are going to be so like if you decide to like gather all your strength and not allow someone to drag you back or whatever is haunting you to consume you. You're going to reap the rewards of something amazing because I see a lot of ambitious, new, fiery creative energy coming towards you with that page of wands i see the start and spark of something great like you're gonna have the energy to just go 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 like infinite you're gonna be able to work 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 and you're gonna love it whereas if you allow yourself to be tempted by this toxic person place or thing it's gonna take all that energy away clarifying the ten of pentacles it's a seven of pentacles yeah long-term investment ten of pentacles the queen of swords. So an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You have to have a mindset. You have to be cold to this person. I feel like you have to take on this uh, queen of swords energy and be cold to whoever's trying to tempt you. Because I see that here with the ten of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, you're being doctored in or invited into or sworn into this family of wealth. I see you creating a very wealthy family or like it could be a company that's very wealthy and you're signing a contract with them or you're just creating this. Whatever candle magic you do is the start or spark to this generational wealth for a very long time, seven of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. Cause that's not just a long-term investment. That's a long-term investment full of wealth and stability. And you have to have a head over heart decision. You have to have a, a queen of swords mindset to go for it. Because you're being tempted with comfort versus stability here. Something brand new and extremely stable and fortunate. An offer is going to be served to you on a silver platter. 
and you're going to be tempted with the void. Either go back to something comfortable to fill that void or you're going to go towards this amazing new thing. I feel like you've been working hard. There is a promise of great wealth if you continue. Yeah, with the strength card, page of wands, the seven of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. There is a promise of great wealth if you choose to continue to, to do this work. Clarifying the Three of Cups is the star card, hope and healing. So you are going to heal from whatever it is you're going through. Like I said, greet the darkness, dive into it, use it, channel it into your work. And then we had the King of Pentacles. There you are, Virgo. It does not matter what your gender is. It's telling you to take charge of a situation. So you're in your masculine. So like I said, you're doing work. You're the one doing the work because in tarot, the masculine takes the action. The feminine is receiving. So like right now, I identify as a female. I am a woman, but I'm in my masculine energy right now. I'm doing work right now. So King of Pentacles energy. Ter clarifying the temperance is the full card. Aquarius. Queen of Cups, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So yes, you're being tempted into a new beginning with a water sign or an Aquarius. It could be Sagittarius as well. Overall energy is Three of Pentacles. It could be very tempting to go back, but don't. I see a new beginning for you that's amazing. Don't turn around. It's so easy to turn around and go back to the comfort zone. Whereas when you walk forward into the unknown, into the darkness, it's scary. But you, it's going to work out for you. This like this plan, if you go it alone, if you just abandon these fuck-ass people, or if you just allow these fuck-ass people to abandon you, it is a promise, 100% guarantee that it'll work out for you, Virgo. Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords, let go, move to calmer waters. Don't stand and keep fighting for people, places, things that are not serving you, that's leaving you haunted like by the messed up things people have said and done to you. The people around you are leaving you with ghosts here or they're literally ghosting you, just planting horrible things into your mind. Look at how she's crying and the words and, and actions of others are replaying in her head and she's just sitting there. Whereas you can do candle magic, just get a white candle and release it by simply writing grudges on a candle on a white candle putting your name date and the word grudges and lighting it letting it burn out and you've released all grudges you've held or any type of pain or anything you can write pain on there but i've seen a simple coin money magic something like that you can make up your own type of spell do you but with the page of wands you have that strength and that drive to create that ten of pentacles i get a strong knowing from the virgos that i'm reading for right now that you know with the devil card that's like capricorn energy the devil energy is like hard work every day no days off i see you knowing for a fact that you're going to have that ten of pentacles that generational wealth so much money you can pass it down from generation to generation that is what you are investing in and creating for yourself and you know you're going to get it you're doing physical work and magic work to influence and help you. So yeah, you're going to, I see you pushing forward and not going back. Exactly. Yep. Page of wands, strength card, judgment. You make the judgment, you sign the contract or make that promise to yourself. You make the decision to sign on a dotted line or something. You decide you're celebrating. It's like as soon as you make that decision in your mind, in your heart, or you, as soon as that ink dries, you feel healed. There's like hope and healing here because you chose the right path. You'll be celebrating. Yeah, you decide to choose well. King of Pentacles. So for the Virgos watching, I don't know what's haunting you or what's stressing you out. I feel like it's toxic people, places, things, habits. I feel like it's toxic circumstances and people around you holding you back, keeping you trapped, messing with your mind and heart. The main thing you need to focus on is your money. And I know that sounds so typical, but that is what you need to focus on right now. 10 candles, 10 coins, or focus on your money. Cause that is what's gonna bring you healing, hope, joy, happiness. That is your goal. I mean, come on, third harvest. You already know what the harvest means. You know exactly what that means. And then with temperance, staying calm, and cause there's a new beginning coming the full card and then the queen of cups 
everything you want, including love, will follow if you follow that Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. It'll work out for you. It's a guarantee. Also, there's clearly an Aquarius you're supposed to be working with. Because we have the Queen of Swords, the Star, and the Fool. Or someone here has Aquarius highly aspected in their chart. There's clearly someone here guiding you somewhere that's helping you somewhere. It's They're going to help you or guide you to this um, spell work or bring you a lot of healing, a lot of hope, a new beginning. You're going to be working very well and ver working very close with a Queen of Swords and Aquarius. Could be another earth sign for some of you. I see Sagittarius here as well and a Capricorn. But it's like you're being guided away from things that are tearing you down and weighing you down. You do some type of candle magic. So maybe you light one candle every day for the next 10 days. I don't know how many days are in between the new moon and full moon cycles. I'll have to look that up after this. But I feel like you, you light a different candle every day for the next 10 days. One candle a day. But it's up to you what you decide to do. You ain't got to do that. You could write, light the same candle every day for 10 days. <laughs> do how you want to do it. All right. But I see you doing some work with an Aquarius. Or Sagittarius or Capricorn or someone who has these signs highly aspected. That brings you hope, healing, and a new beginning. This new beginning for you in the next 10 days, Virgo, is about to be insane. You are not going to feel haunted at all. You're going to feel on top of the world in the next 10 days. I wish I could articulate this energy better. Because I, I just can't even express how amazing you're about to feel. Just know that you're about to be about that work. In the next 10 days, you're going to see a, a huge harvest from that. I'm going to read this card for you as well. Then I'm going to get you your final message. All right. It says third harvest 38. And the numbers I called out, you can feel free to break down 9, 19, 21. Daughters of the woods, fill thy sacred swell with suppleness. Taste the gathering of honey, honey's milk filling your emptiness. Literally, literally what I said in the beginning. <laughs> Like you fill a void and it's about to be filled. So the, like, yeah, you need an empty ground to plant a heart. You know what I'm trying to say. You need an empty field to plant seeds to grow. So things are being cleared from you. You feel empty. You feel alone. You feel drained. You're supposed to feel that way because things are being removed from you. You're, you're filled with all these ghosts, things itching at you. All that's about to be cleansed and those people, places and things are about to be removed for better for much better things so it says greet the darkness the void is about to be filled filled that's symbolic <laughs> all right let me get to your final message for virgo final message for virgo final message from for virgo thank you spirit All right, we have snail taking your time, the sacred fragility. Don't be afraid to take your time, all right? Because the seven of pentacles and the ten of pentacles is no small feat. But no, I feel like it's in 10 days though, so that's not very long. But I feel like you've been working a job for either 10 years or some years now. There's something you've been working in or putting in work in for years. And you're going, it's going to pay off. Either if that, that job or that person doesn't want to give you the payout, you're about to get it somewhere else in 10 days. All right. We have tree, wisdom, good roots, connection. So you're about to make a connection with someone. I feel like it's an Aquarius, but of course it could be a Sagittarius or someone else, a Capricorn. All right. We have doll, illusion, childhood, old wounds. So, of course, there could be a water sign from your past. Over energy is wishes, ambition, wandering, wings. That is what you're going towards. That's what you're calling in. Ambitious, your ambitious energy is just going to continuously grow and see your wishes come true more than you can imagine. Everything's about to work out for you. I don't know exactly what's been haunting you. I feel like it's people. 
the things that people have said and done to you, the way people have abandoned you or the way that you're about to abandon these people, you need to feel alone. You need to feel abandoned. You need to feel a void right now. You need to feel like empty. And I know that sounds weird, but you need to feel empty right now so that you can call this in. And this is perfect for the new moon energy because look, what did it say again? Taste the gathering of honey's milk, filling your emptiness, third harvest. All right, <sighs> I'm gonna leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing, her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.